Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. And no one can deny it. It's a good neighborhood. It's all no good, good in our hood. hood. No, no bullying, bullying, no gang violence, no, no drug selling. We, we accept, accept authority. authority. How y'all doing today? Good. It's good to be with y'all today. You know that? Yes. I'm proud of each and every one of you all too. You know that? Yes. Can I start off by asking you what's your name and how old you are? Yes. And what grade you in? Yes. Yes. Tell me. I'm CH and I'm in, I'm eight and I'm in third grade. I'm my name is Davia. I'm in third grade and I'm eight. My name is Caleb. I'm eight and I'm in third grade. Y'all know my name? Yes. Pop What's my name? Pop 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 Mr. Pop, Pop Lewis. Lewis. That's right. And guess what? Yes. You know what we're going to discuss today? Yes. Repeat after me. Three principles. Three, three principles, principles. To bullying. To, to bullying. bullying. Now say, Mr. Pop, what are those three principles are? Mr. Pop, what are those three principles? Repeat after me. Identify. Identify. Notify. Notify. And the teacher will rectify. And the teacher will rectify. Let's talk about those three principles, okay? Okay. You all, as students, you're supposed to identify who the bully is in the class. Yes. Then you notify the teacher, and the teacher will rectify the problem. Because if you try to rectify the problem, it'll make the problem worse, right? Yes. yes. Let me ask you a question. Let me start with you. What's your definition of bullying? My definition of bullying is when you bother somebody and they didn't do anything to you. Anything else? That's good. Anything else? And that's it. How about you? What's your definition of bullying? My definition of bullying is when someone bullies another person and they, they, the person who bullied them, they, they're like hurt down and they want the other person to feel hurt like them. Right. What's your definition of bullying? My definition of bullying is um, hitting somebody and they didn't do nothing and um, they um, make them um, sad and um, feel don't don't feel good about their themselves give all yourself a hand <laughs> listen to this say intimidation intimidation say uncomfortable uncomfortable anytime a person is uncomfortable in your presence don't you know that's bullying yes, yes. now watch this you have various types of bullying you have silent bullying then you have the sound effect bullying and you have the verbal bullying. Now, guess what the silent bullying is? What is it? Well, glad you asked. If you're standing at your locker, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you're putting your books in your locker. Yeah. Yes. And another young lady or a young boy walk by you yeah. and roll their eyes at you. How did that make you feel? That will make me feel mad. Mad? How about you? Disappointed. Disappointed? How about you? Uncomfortable. Unc Ooh, look at that word. Say it again. Uncomfortable. Do you have a right to be uncomfortable? Yeah, because um, because they're just looking at you and you didn't do nothing. Right. So you don't have no right to be uncomfortable because you come to school to learn something, right? Yes. yes. You come to school to have respect for others and respect your teachers, right? 
Yes. You have a right to be uncomfortable. Let me give you an example. If I'm sitting at the front of the class and the pencil sharpener is in the back of the class, and when I get up to go to the pencil sharpener and I kick the leg on your desk, how did that make you feel? It'll make me feel intimidated. Intimidated? Okay. How would it make you feel? Sad. Sad? How would it make you feel? Um, it'll make me feel um, fiery. Okay. And guess what? You all don't have that right to feel that way. Now, when I come back from the pencil sharpener, on my way back, what do you all expect me to do? You kick my desk again. Say, it, uh, say that again. Kick my desk again. What do you say about that? Kick the desk again. How about you? Kick the desk again. That's right. You know why you're expecting that? Because when I walked by the first time, I did it, right? Yes. yes. They made you feel uncomfortable, right? Yes. And I come back, you expect me to do the same thing, right? Yes. You're supposed to automatically notify the teacher, as we said, the three principles, notify, identify, notify, and the teacher will rectify. You notify who the bully is. Yes. Because I'm going around kicking people's desks, making feel people uncomfortable, intimidated. You notify the teacher, and the teacher rectify the problem because you want that bully to realize that they disrupted the class. And you come there to work, get your job done, and to learn, right? Yes. yes. You can't learn when you're uncomfortable, am I right? Yeah. Yes. Now, that's silent bullying when you roll your eyes. Who know what verbal bullying is? Anybody have an idea? No. Mm -mm. Guess what verbal bullying is? When you hurt somebody's feelings with your mouth. Like teasing. There you go. Say it again. Like teasing. That's right. Like teasing. Who else? Like teasing. Uh huh. And. Want to think about it? Yeah. Okay. How about you, Kayla? Mm. You know when people call you names? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. They um. They um talk about your feelings. That's right. And Try to hurt your feelings. Yeah. Right. And try to make you um try to make you uncomfortable. That's right. That's right. And uh and um and that's um how they um um get your weakness. That's right. Get your weakness exactly. Give a hand, y'all. <laughs> Physical bullying is when someone's always putting their hands on you, trying to wrestle with you, choke you, hit you, push you. Like That's fighting? Like fighting. Like fighting. What I'm trying to get you all to understand is you want a comfortable and safe environment. Say environment. Environment. The school you're in, the class you're in, out in the playground, out for recess. You always want to be safe. And you want a nice, safe environment. You don't want to be worried about people hurting you or you getting hurt or watching somebody else get hurt. Don't you know it's sad to see another friend get hurt too? Yes. yes. Say snitching. 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 Say there's no such thing as snitching. There's, there's no, no such thing, thing as snitching. snitching. You know why? 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 Don't you want to prevent something before it happens? Yes. yes. How would you feel if you hear two kids saying, when they get out of school, we know where they live, we're going to follow them home and they cut across the train tracks. We're gonna hurt them and let them land the train tracks and hold them till a train come by, or we're gonna throw some bottles at them, we're gonna throw some rocks at them. How would y'all feel? I'd feel hurt. And especially if you all don't notify the teacher to tell the teacher they said they're gonna jump on that person after school. And if you don't inform the teacher and the next day you hear about that friend of yours getting hurt, when you feel bad, when you feel bad about your friend getting hurt, yeah. you know why you feel bad? Because you said, I should have told the teacher what they was going to do. So that's why it's not snitching. Anytime you prevent somebody from getting hurt, 
is not snitching, okay? Yeah. You're supposed to always inform an adult when somebody getting bullied on or when somebody planning to hurt somebody. Do you know what usually happens to kids that always get bullied on every day? No. Guess what? What? Say outcast. Outcast. Do anybody know what that means, outcast? No. Well, guess what? Outcast means that the person don't feel that they accepted by the in crowd. Outcast person feel like nobody wants to be their friend. Outcast feel like they're all alone in this world alone. And a lot of times they go home and depress. You know what depress is? No. You want to think about what you think depress is? Yeah, I know what depressed means. What is depressed? Depressed means when you're feeling disappointed or sad. Say it a little louder. Disappoint, dis, dis, depressed means when you feel disappointed or sad about something. That's a good definition. And that's what an outcast feel like. They go home and they feel disappointed like they're unwanted. And that makes them say, I don't want to be in this world. If nobody don't want to accept me in this world, Nobody want to be my friend in this world. I don't want to be in this world. And you know what they do? What? Say suicide. 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 Do anybody know the definition of committing suicide? No. You know what committing suicide means? What does it mean? They feel so bad about themselves. They feel like nobody want to love them. They feel like they're not accepted. Nobody wants to be their friend. They be like, I'm going to kill myself. That would it be good? Say it again? That wouldn't be good. It wouldn't. But that's why I'm trying to teach you all to understand that we have to love one another, be friends with one another, yes. encourage one another, yeah. and try to help one another. Yeah. If a kid can't spell and you know the word, you know what you do? Help you, them. Say it again. Help them. Caleb, say it again. Help them. You heard Caleb? Yes. How do you help them, Caleb? By, um... Um, getting some dictionaries, books. Say it again. Dictionaries and books. Oh wow. Or help them sound out the word. That's right. Help them sound out the word. And put two words together. Right. Like compound words. Like compound word. Break it down in syllables. Yeah. Um, right. Help them with their vowels, pronoun, verbs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And guess Adjectives. what? Say it again. Adjectives. Adjectives. And nouns. Say it again. Nouns. Now. Verbs. Verbs. And you know what? That draws friendship. Guess what? That person will never forget you. You know why they will never forget you? Why? Because you didn't try to embarrass them. You didn't try to say, oh, you don't know that word. Each and you every one of y'all. You tried to help them. Say it again. You tried to help them. Each and every one of y'all just said the right thing. Each and every one of y'all said the right thing. Try to help them. That's what we need more in the world, especially with young people. Try to help young people and not embarrass them. Y'all didn't embarrass them. You try to help them with the word, and they'll never forget that. Because they learned something, you didn't tease them. And you have a friend to, that likes you more better That's than right. the people who bully you. That's right. That's exactly right. And you gained a friend. Yeah, you have... You have a friend that that you have fun with and you study with them. That's right. And you have a friend that you can't forget. That's right. Well, when you grow up, you won't start bullying. That's right. Say that again. And when you grow up, you won't start bullying. And you know the worst thing about bullying? No. Is that when other children see it happen, they join in. But I'm sitting with three strong leaders because y'all know the three principles to bully it, right? Yes. yes. Can somebody tell what the three principles are? There you go. Remember? Mm. Identify. Identify. Notify. Notify. And the teacher will what? And the teacher will verbal. Rectify. 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 The teacher will deal with the situation, right? Yes. yes. Because I'm sitting with three leaders. As a matter of fact, What's your best subject? My best subject is science. What is it? Science. You like science? Yes. Why? Because you get to create chemicals and some that help people live. What's your best subject? Science. Why? Because you get to make cool stuff. 
What's your best subject? Science. Why? Because you can make creations and um, try to help people with cures. Wow. I'm sitting here with three brilliant young people. The world need more scientists. Y'all know that, right? Yes. yes. If you had an opportunity to go in a laboratory and learn about cures, what would you want to cure? I, wanna, I would want to cure cancer. Really? Say that again? I would want to cure cancer. Why? Because my grandfather died because of cancer. Give her a hand, y'all. How about you? Bullying. You want to cure bullying? Yes. How would you do that? Because if, if somebody's hurt, I would just go over there and tell them to the bully to stop because it's not nice to bully. What would you want to cure? Cancer. Why would you want to cure it? Because um, a lot of people die from it. And, um, and um, s some um, people in my family died of cancer too. Really? Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Can I tell you all something? Yes. You all are setting good examples for other kids. When other kids see this show and see young eight-year-olds, third graders, already have goals set. Say goals set. Goals set. Y'all have goals set in life. That means you already already know what y'all going to be as adults. Can I tell y'all a little something about me? Yes. I didn't set no goals when I was your age. You know what happened to me when I was your age? What? Everything I'm talking to you all about right now, I tease kids. I ranked on them. I bullied on them. And at the time, I thought it was right. I enjoyed doing it. But I come to realize that I was a part of the problem. I was hurting people. And you know what happened? What happened? For being disobedient, I was removed out of my mommy house when I was your age. Nine years old, I was put in a place, say, Children's Village. Children's Village. Say, DCYS. DCYS. That means Department of Children, Youth Services. Now they call it DCF, Department of Children, Families. They took me out of my mommy house, put me in Children's Village, and from there I went to the place called Say Warehouse Point. Warehouse Point. Say State Receiving House. State, State Receiving, Receiving House. House. Now it's called CCP. CCP. Connecticut Children Place. Connecticut Children Place. Then from there, for my bad behavior, I was put in a place called Long Lane. Long Lane. Now it's called CJTS. CJTS. That means Connecticut. Connecticut. Juvenile. Juvenile. Training school. Training school. I'm showing y'all a pattern. Now I'm 14 years old, 15 years old, committing crimes. Committing crimes. I get locked up till I'm 17 years old. I get out. It'll follow me to my adult age. Say terrorist. Terrorist. I was a terrorist. You know why? Why? I was out there selling poison. To my community. Whenever you destroy the community, you destroy people. Whenever you destroy people, you destroy society. I didn't have no right to sell drugs to people's parents because you know what it does? What? It deprives kids from having something. So I'm showing y'all a pattern that I started from you all's age, and I'm happy to see at you all age, you already know what y'all want to do in life. You're not following in my footsteps. And it followed me to my adult age. And guess what? What? What do you see right here? A line in your, on your head. Say it loud. A line on your head. What do you see? A line on your head. What do you see? A line on your head. What do you see right here? A big hole in your... Say it again. A big hole. hole. How many holes in my neck? Two. Say trach. Trach. Guess what? 
What? I was shot in my head with a nine millimeter gun. For Why? selling drugs, some guy staged a robbery, and you know what? What? I was in a coma. Uh, 45 days. You know what a coma is? No. A coma is when you're laying still in the bed and you have machines connected to you and you, all you're doing is just breathing. You can't talk, you can't respond, you can't do anything. And I brought that on myself. Say fragments. Fragments. Anytime a bullet goes into something, it explodes and small fragments scatter. The doctors had to take a TV monitor and put it up on the wall and lay my body in an angle. They took a needle this long with bright colored dye in the needle and they pushed the needle up under my spine to look up on the TV screen because the small fragments put holes in my skull and I had fluid leaking from my nose and my mouth. So they put the dye in there to see it come out the holes. Then they took a handsaw and the doctors saw my scalp from temple to temple. They peeled my scalp back. They sealed up the holes and stitched me back up again. Like my cousin, she fell off a table and it was bleeding right near her eye. And she really? had to get stitches. Really? Yes. But do you see how I brought that on myself? Yes. I don't want you all to grow up that way. I want you all to grow up grow up and have goals in life, short-term goals and long-term goals. You know what your short-term goal is? No. Listen to your parents, graduate from elementary school, go to junior high school, graduate from junior high school, go to high school, and when you graduate from high school, go to college. Now you're setting your long-term goal because the college is going to give you all a career. And you already told me you all want to be scientists. So guess what? What? Y'all already ahead of the game. Y'all already know what y'all want to be in life. But I want you to let nobody discourage y'all from your goals. You understand that? Yes. yes. And I want y'all to encourage each other. If you see something that's based on science, if you see something based on science, call each other. Okay. Encourage each other, okay? Okay. How do y'all encourage each other? Somebody going to tell me. You encourage each other by... Saying good work, good job. That's right. And you. I want Davy to take this off for me now. Hmm? What do you I say? want Davy to do it. Mm. Okay, go ahead, Davy. Um, you tell somebody that they're doing a good job, and that you don't like. You don't like say that's not good. That's not how you smell it. You say you did a good try. Oh wow. Did a good try. Wow. How about you, Kayla? I would say nice comp compliments to them. That's right, Kayla. As a matter of fact, can we try that now? Say something encouraging to Caleb. Caleb, you say something encouraging to Davia. You say something encouraging to Cece. Let me hear how y'all would encourage each other. Let me hear what y'all would say to encourage each other. If Caleb feeling down, let me hear what you would have to say to encourage him. Don't feel sad. You have to cheer up and you can explore anything you want. Did you hear that, Caleb? Did you hear that? Yeah. How did that make you feel? Um, good about myself. Say it again? Good about myself. It made you feel good about yourself? Yeah. Isn't that rewarding for Caleb to tell you what you said to him made him feel good about himself? Yes. Yes. What would you say to encourage him? Mm, that he writes good and that don't get mad because you you will if you get mad you you will get in trouble and um try to help people if they're in trouble but now, Caleb want to say something to encourage to them what would you like to say I would say don't feel sad because you can do anything you um like to and you can um do, do, um, do good jobs and encourage your goals. What would you say to encourage, Cece? Me? Yes. Uh, 
I would say that she is, she's nice, she doesn't bully anybody, and she writes nice, and don't, don't feel bad, and don't get bullied. CC. Yes. How would you encourage her? I would encourage her, like, by saying that she's the goodest friend ever, and that even though that some people doesn't like her, I, I still like her. Give all yourself a hand. You know what? I want to thank you all for coming and being in Mr. Pop's neighborhood. And I know that young people who watch this show and see how encouraging you all are, how intelligent you all are, and see that y'all have goals to set, look at y'all positive personality, say influence. Influence. It's going to have influence on them, right? Yes. yes. It's a, a wonderful day in the neighborhood, neighborhood. Wonderful, wonderful day in the neighborhood, neighborhood. wonderful day in the neighborhood, and, and nobody can, can deny, deny it. it. Thank you all, and come back to Mr. Pop's neighborhood, where everything is all good in our... Good. Good. No.